All right, this is Benji. I'm introducing you right now. Benji gets very excited. We have some barking issues, but also likes to jump up. So I'm going to use the new technique. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm staying right outside of Benji's reach. You see, Benji's very excited, and the energy is worked up. I don't want to tell the dog what to do. If I do that, I'm micromanaging the dog. What I'm doing is I'm, I'm waiting for Benji's energy to subside on his, her, him. on his own. I'm not directing him. I'm just waiting for him to kind of settle down. Now, I'd like him to get a sit, but I'm not going to tell him what to do. This energy is a lot better. I would like to have a sit with this calm energy, but I will do it with just the calm energy. So now the energy is dissipated. Now Benji's a little bit slow and you see him leaning over, so that tells me a little bit uncomfortable. And so uh, when a dog is really uncomfortable, that's when they can have, you can have miscommunications. And so I kind of slowed down at that point and I'm gonna let Benji do the initiating and the sniffing. But the energy is nice. We like this energy, it's much more calm. And what we're saying is when you're calm, the person will engage with you. When you are all excited, the person moves away. So you're keeping yourself nice and calm, Benji. You are probably have calmed down faster than any dog I've ever done this technique with. Um, now, what I would recommend you guys do is when you guys come home, do the same sort of thing. Now, is if you see the energy spike up, then what you do is you step back and turn to the side. This isn't, uh, sh shunning is the too strong of a word, but essentially what I'm saying is I lose interest in you when you're excited, and I turn, I look away, but I'm just, just right outside of reach. So that creates the dog uh, interest in wanting to continue. But um, only do this when the dog is really excited. Don't try to do it at times when the dog's not gonna jump up because it, it, that's what we're looking for is a calm and balanced energy. Right, Benji? You're a little bit off, is this a little bit off, for, off Benji's game? Um, he's normally, I mean, he's normally not that shy. Uh, well, he's kind of. I'm wondering if this is, this is maybe a little bit un unusual for him because of the new technique. So he just, whenever he gets the dog slow down or freeze, that's kind of a warning sign. And so uh, with the Me Too movement, a lot of, uh, it's, I like to use a lot of analogies and similes, but it's kind of like a dog's way of saying, I don't want you to touch me. And a lot of women give men that sign at work, I don't want my boss to touch me, but he's my boss, he's gonna give me a shoulder rub because I said my neck was hurting. Mm -hmm. But he didn't ask me, so it's not right for a man to do that. And so for dogs, we just have, tend to think, well, because I want to, my, my goal or my end result is something that's good, it's okay that I do it even though you tell me you don't want it. It's not. And if a dog feels like nobody's listening and respecting it, those are dogs that tend to get nippy, barky, lungy, and aggressive because people are not listening or respecting its wishes. Um, that's not the case here, but you did slow down a little bit, and I think it's just this leash just was confounding for Benji. Yeah. Benji, I saw a nice note about you on the doorway uh, walking up here. I mean, we need to work on some barking issues too. But you are a very good looking dog, and He's we're gonna see so what we can do to get you to be a quiet, cute dog. So this is how you can use, uh, well, I, this is, I don't really have a name for it, but basically this is a technique that you can use if your dog is really excited and likes to jump up or lunge at people in a non-aggressive way um, that you can use.